Hello, my name is Elizabeth Main. I'm one of the designers for Silhouette America. You can find me and my designs on their website. You just browse for the artist and locate me there. I can also be found on one of the Facebook um, groups called Silhouette Cameo Chums. It's a great group to join. I thoroughly recommend it. Very friendly group. We have a laugh. No questions too stupid. And um, it's all Silhouette Cameo related. Let's get back to the tutorial. We want a circle, so grab the ellipse tool, place your cursor more or less to the center of the page. If you hold down the Shift and Alt key, and drag out a circle. Next we want the text tool. Just make sure your font is set to Arial, and we want a zero. We want the zero because we want this long elongated shape. We don't want the letter O, it's too round for this purpose. So let's just backspace that and add some more zeros. If you just grab this little circle and drag that down to the other circle, we now have text on a path and we need to fill in that space with some more zeros. Now you might find that the gap between your last zero and your first zero is too big. We can alter that by going over to the character spacing and bump that up Let's try 101%. This does depend on what size your circle is as to what number you put in. There we go. Filled it in beautifully. We want to go back to the zeros. There we go. Click on, double click on the zeros and you'll get this little slider bar. This slider bar, if you pull in and out, will move your zeros in and out. We want the line of the circle underneath to go through the center of the zeros. Now we want to release this um, text and make it into an image. Now, How we do that is it, I would recommend to click off first and then click back onto the zeros. I'll tell you why in a second. And right click and you can release the compound path. That then makes each zero, the inner circle and the outer circle, into a separate image. Now let me show you what not to do. I control Z, backspace a step. If you had inadvertently selected the whole lot and then did a release compound path, watch what happens. You then lose the text on the path. So that's why I said click out and then click back onto the zeros, just in case you had inadvertently selected the whole lot. Let's control Z back that and click out again, click onto the zeros and we want to release the compound path. We now want to select the whole lot. We want to right click and weld. There's also a weld button at the very bottom here. That's our first step. We now want to draw another circle, more or less the centre of the page. Shift, Alt, draw out. Now to make sure that those are in line with each other, I would select the whole lot. I would go to your alignment tool and just press centre and that will centre them all. We now want to take in a circle out from the cog shape. To do this you want to make a compound path that is now one solid shape. Grab the rectangle tool and draw a thin rectangle. Again select the whole lot, go to center, click out, click on to the rectangle and we want to duplicate that. If we go to the duplicate tab at the top and we want to rotate that by three copies. Again, select the whole lot, weld, I didn't do that properly, make sure the whole lot, there we are, now we can weld, there we go. Again, we want a circle into the middle, shift alt key, grab the whole lot, 
go back to the alignment tool and center and we want to weld that so you can right click or press the button at the bottom and weld we want to draw another circle again repeat the same thing alt shift you can see that's off center again select the whole lot center now we want to take the that little tiny center uh, circle out of the shape so if you right click and you make a compound path we now have one whole shape and just to test that there are no stray bits around just select your shape go to your fill bucket and fill it with the color there we are that's your cog I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching goodbye